Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're here on the beautiful streets of Anjuna. I'm going to show you guys the streets. I'm going to show you guys the shops, the crowds, everything on the road here right now. So let's go and check out the beautiful area here in Anjuna. Okay guys, so we are starting off our vlog from here at the Anjuna market area. We're going to go all the way down to the beach road and we are going to check out all these incredible places on the way. So just to show you guys, there's this beautiful property here called Sabadu on the left. And on the right here, you have all these shops. If you take the road towards the right, there is a parking area here. So just to show you guys like the scenes from here, uh, it is uh, 1.30 in the afternoon. It is pretty hot right now. And you know, just to show you guys, but it is a beautiful day here in Goa. The sky is nice and blue. And when we go into the inner roads, you know, you're going to really enjoy the area. So I just wanted to show you guys the shopping that is here right now and of course as you can see there's not a lot of crowd right now. Uh, not because it's afternoon but because uh, this season there has been a little bit of dip in crowd even though it is the month of December and you know it is peak season right now. Uh, there is not a lot of, you'll see quite a few international tourists here, uh, you know, on the streets of Goa here. And of course, we are going to take this road. If you go straight that side, that was the beach road. Of course, we are not going to the beach. Let us just go down uh, the streets here and show you guys the scenes from here. So we are going to go to the end of this road, which is the main Anjuna road here. So this is like a little back road here, but they have a lot of nice restaurants and properties on this road. So I'm going to show you guys all the nice places here. This is one of my favorite areas here for because of all these plants. So it looks absolutely beautiful. So on this road, all the famous areas are there like the purple martini, etc. that are here. This is a nice hostel here, which is called the Rainbow Hostel, uh, which we just passed. That is the colorful one here. Uh, so just to show you guys, like there are nice, nice properties here. Like see, this is D Kaka is this property here. They have like AC and non-AC rooms. If you pause the video, you can see the numbers here. It's a really nice property and you have quite a lot of shopping on this area as well. So just in these roads inside uh, here, the breeze is so nice. And of course, there are quite a few people at the beach today. So if you see the parking, there are quite a lot of uh, people in the parking area. But we are not going to go to the beach area. We are going to just go down the streets here of Anjuna and show you guys what all is there. So if you see here, like these are like semi-precious stones, you know, you can get the amethyst and uh, those kind of things here. Like uh, they have so many different kinds of, you know, uh, nice stones. This is Hayat. Hayati, which is a really nice property. They have a beautiful beach view of the Anjuna beach. And you know, they have nice sundowner parties here uh, at that place. So as we go down here, there are going to be other nice properties that are here. Just to show you guys, this is the Pirates, uh, Pirates Cafe. This is a very beautiful property. Let's just take a little look here inside, just to show you how beautiful it is. So they have done it up really nicely this year. So that's the Pirates Cafe. And you guys should feel like you're riding down the streets of Goa with me here and you know, have the complete experience. So, uh, you know, you would expect there'll be a lot more tourists now, but of course, uh, as I keep on saying, there are quite a uh, less amount of tourists this time, but it's mostly international tourists that are here right now and you can see there are cows everywhere so <laughs> while we were coming as well there were more cows there so this area is very nice for shopping the road that we are going to go further on uh, there's a lot of shopping in this area there is also a nice hostel here which is called the hippie hostel this is the hippie hostel here and they have like a good crowd and you know like if you want to have some nice party vibes here you'll get some nice party vibes so this is of course the shopping in this area here and before this used to be like a hippie hippie area there used to be so many uh, hippies in this area but yeah so this is Ayur Glow here and there is a nice property that's going to come up just up ahead when we go and just to show you this is the main shopping area here 
so if you want to buy all these kind of items there is also like a lot of these leather kind of items that are available here on this road so there is another really nice property which is opened up recently which is called howling wolves here and yeah so again just to show you guys so much of shopping here and yeah uh, of course we are going to reach the famous eva cafe here up ahead so this is the famous eva cafe i'm going to take you guys and show you like a complete look of what is it here so just to show you guys there is i'm not parking so this is uh, the eva beach house and then you have the eva cafe here just to show you guys like how many if you see the slippers out here see look at the amount of slippers here so you can make out the amount of crowd that is there here right now so this is the eva cafe and just to show you guys it's a very nice cafe here you get good you know food and things there i mean it's not like it's like a vegan kind of restaurant here there was suhar there there is moon star here which is another nice property and here we have guru bar which is again a very nice place to come and check out guru bar so they have like live music and uh, events here that happen and if you see there's a good amount of crowd that is there here right now and okay. so it is super super humid suddenly for some reason everybody is you can see on the street whoever is here they are everybody sweating and yeah so there are quite a few restaurants down this road up here and more cows and bulls but just to show you guys the water here so at this point of time the water is really nice and blue here in goa so this area has a little more crowd that is there here and you have international tourists here and this taxi guy is blocking my way so hopefully he can move fast enough so yeah just to show you guys the shopping in this area here and hi hi what's up no 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 what's up what's up so that fellow wanted me to buy some clothes but i'm from here in goa so ah you know i get all the clothes from known vendors to give me for very very cheap if i want anything so just to show you guys but there are other really nice places here this is avlon sunset they have like lobsters and crabs and tiger prawn crabs uh, and the property looks really nice inside just to show you guys the view here so this is a really nice view here at, at the restaurant so we are going down this road i wish they would have fixed this road because if you can see here this is like a super muddy road this is the mayan beach club this is a very nice property definitely one of the nicest ones here so this is the entrance to the mayan beach club here and the guy want even smile sadly <laughs> so yeah just to show you guys this is like all the dream catchers and everything that you can get in anjuna here this is like you know people come to buy all of these things from all over the world and definitely some of the nice things you can get but before you know used to get these items only here but now if you go to baga or kalangut as well you can find the similar kind of items so here this is the famous purple martini which is like the it's not a club really but it's like a very nice property they have like a sundowner parties and this is the entrance here just to show you here and just as we go further on they have like the original purple martini which is here on the uh, left let me just take you guys here and show you so that is like the original purple martini da that side and you know in the evenings this is really nice you get some beautiful outfits here if you want to buy some clothes and here this is a new place which is bob caper which is like a night club and restaurant like their ambiance is very nice the aesthetic and here if you see more shopping just for you guys to have an idea so these outfits are like 400 onwards uh, there's another property that opened up recently here this is called aerial here aerial is a really nice property the view is one of the best views that you can get here in goa Uh, especially for sunset 
and even if you come here in the afternoon you can get some beautiful uh, you know photos and videos just to show you guys the crowds here so this scenes from here these are people from different different countries here and let's just go down the road here now and show you guys some more of the restaurants and things that are available here so <laughs> yeah so as we go further on the road which if you want to go down this road here you can go down this road and it takes you down to the uh, anjuna area uh, you know the rocky cliffs area down there so this is the main anjuna parking area here on the left as well as there's a food court that's going to come up very soon here but yeah so just to show you guys you would expect goa to have so much more crowd right now but as you can see there is a, hardly any people here and it's almost a little sad to see but at the same time you know uh, it's pretty nice because i can roam around without a lot of traffic so over here you have uh, moira which is this uh, stay dining experiences it's a really nice property uh, while coming i saw it and i was like oh wow this looks really nice so uh, just to show you a few nice properties that are here on this side of the road there is luna's oh wait, look at the way he's right driving so this is luna's restaurant here which is a very very nice property and just to show you guys like over here there is like so many international people that are here right now so okay i have to get on that so yeah so as you can see this is so many international people that are here and what we'll do is let's just go towards this side of the road because this side of the road is basically uh, you know where all the nice places are so yeah just to show you guys there is one restaurant here called fat fish uh before it is to call uh, it was called bobbies uh by fat fish here but this is fat fish restaurant here so as you can see this is the restaurant and they have the similar restaurant fat fish in uh baga area so that is another area which is there just to show you guys like there are some nice restaurant there's juice bars here and you know hookah and everything uh, here on this road there is the famous oxford supermarket there and i like this area because you have like a lot of nice cafes that are here so if you want to have like some juice or anything and they have like free wifi and stuff here so if you see this mostly uh youngsters here all cool youngsters my age <laughs> yeah so now we are on the road towards wagator actually but we're still uh, here in anjuna wagator road but we'll just go a little bit i want to show you guys what sunburn the setup for sunburn looks like so you guys have an idea of what uh, you know this sunburn area looks like so what we'll do is i'll just go to the end of the road and show you guys from there okay guys so we are starting off from here at the other side of the area that area in between was just empty here is the anjuna police station and we are going to go to the left here as you can see here there are so many boards of all the different properties that are here so of course this is going into the wagator area but i just wanted to show you guys uh, what the sunburn preparation looks like so if you see here all this area on the right is going to be parking so uh, if you see this sheets that are there that's all the parking area that's going to be there here and further on will be the sunburn you know stages and everything so sunburn has not started yet sunburn is starting from tomorrow so i'm shooting this video today and sunburn is starting tomorrow just to show you guys but uh the scenes from here so you guys have an idea of what it's going to be like so this is this is the enchanted forest entry here and that is the uh sunburn entrance there uh the right of course over here is the famous uh property which is the where the night market happens and it's called hill top but yeah we'll just take a little ride down the street here and show you guys 
a few scenes from here as well so yeah we'll go down uh, this road here and show you guys this area so if you can see it this is going to be all sunburn guys so this all on the left is the preparations for the sunburn party that's going to happen here in North Goa but as you can see the streets uh, right now there's nobody here and very sad to see but wow I can't I don't know if I can show you guys but the stage looks amazing so uh, yeah just to show you let's see if we can get a sneak peek so there in the distance is the sunburn stage and yeah so we're just going down so over here there, there's another uh, big party that's happening which is called satellite beach there are so many parties that are going to happen here so sunburn this time looks amazing inside it's going to be probably amazing the stage guys is huge okay so I'm going to do a video of sunburn so I don't want to reveal everything uh, here so I'm going to show you guys in the sunburn video so you guys have an idea what sunburn looks like so just to give you guys a glance so yeah guys this was the area here in the Anjuna area and the Vagator area so guys that is it from here in Anjuna I hope you enjoyed this vlog please do like and subscribe and I'll be bringing you guys lots of other videos from here in Goa